good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the word. Today we are jumping into Judges and we are talking about Samson. And we were in chapter 15 last time. And today I want to talk a little bit more about chapter 15 and just read a small section of that. I'm going to be reading today from Judges chapter 15, verses 9 through 15. That's Judges 15, 9 through 15. It says this. The Philistines went up and camped in Judah, spreading out near Leah. The people of Judah asked, Why have you come to fight us? We have come to take Samson prisoner, they answered, to do to him as he did to us. Then 3,000 men from Judah went down to the cave in the rock of Etam and said to Samson, Don't you realize that the Philistines are rulers over us? What have you done to us? He answered, I merely did to them what they did to me. And they said to him, We have come to tie you up and hand you over to the Philistines. Samson said, Swear to me that you won't kill me yourselves. Agreed, they answered. We will only tie you up and hand you over to them. We will not kill you. So they bound him up with two new ropes and led him from the rock. As he approached Leah, the Philistines came toward him shouting. The Spirit of the Lord came down powerfully upon him, and the ropes on his arms became like charred flax, and the bindings dropped from his hands. Finding a fresh jawbone of a donkey, he grabbed it and struck down a thousand men. What I want you to see is this. Um, that it, this little section here gives a good idea of like the whole life of, of Samson. He surrounded himself with the ungodly. Okay, that was his life. If you read through the whole, if you're reading through Judges and you're reading uh, particularly about Samson, there is hardly any time where he was interacting with uh, the Israelites, okay? He might have lived there, but he wasn't interacting with them and, and, and so forth. The whole story is about his relationship to the Philistines, okay? And, um, you know, it's like he wanted to be there because he goes and visits there. He goes, um, you know, it, later on we're going to be reading where he goes um, to a prostitute in the Philistine town, okay? And then later on, he's going to go to Delilah, who is a Philistine, okay? Before this, he was wanting to marry a Philistine, okay? So he was always being drawn to the Philistines, and that's who he was surrounding himself with, okay? My warning today is this. Watch who you surround yourself with. Are you surrounding yourself with the ungodly, or are you surrounding yourselves with the godly, those that, um, that follow the Lord? Okay, if you're constantly surrounding yourself with the ungodly, pretty soon you're going to be drawn into what they're doing. Okay, and just uh, be like them. Okay, um, it, it's like you're. This was a good example Pastor Carl gave on Sunday. You're in a boat, and the ungodly are all all all, all around you. You don't want the ungodly to come into the boat. Um, necessarily uh, because you you have to but you're living we're living in the world okay that's part of it um, and we we don't want to completely close ourselves off to the ungodly we want to reach the ungodly but um, watch who you're hanging out with all the time and who you're influenced by that that can change your life and I, I've seen it you know drastically change people's lives by just who they hang out with um, all the time um, affects how they live Okay, so just a warning to you uh, with that as we are in Judges 15. Thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I'll see you tomorrow as we jump on over to 16, chapter 16 of Judges. We'll see you then. Lord's blessing to you.